Hello and welcome to another episode of the colonization campaign. I'm Hanno Valda and last time we left off with a couple of physicians. Uh, first and foremost, we need to hurry up and build a second settlement. However, I reconsidered. Uh, first and foremost, the problem is we have a lot of native villages in the vicinity, which means the colony right here is not a bad location per se, but these two villages are way too close, which means uh, they will occupy these three tiles as well as this tile so <laughs> there is not much spade left to be had so we are going to change plans first and foremost i have um reassessed all the nearby villages basically those close uh the closest four uh to our current location and wrote down what they need and what they can train uh we're going to send this young fellow up here to the Northwest up to this village because they were going to train them in fishermen. And the Arawaks are bringing us some cotton. How nice of them. Secondly, uh, we are going to load as much as we can. Well, it's not a lot. <laughs> no, not really. That's our main issue right now. We need to produce more goods that we can sell so we keep a steady income. Uh, we're going to recall this fellow here because we're going to attack these guys here, the Tupis. They only have one village and uh, they have a very, very nice location, in fact. This fellow here is starting to uh, construct a road to the west so we can connect the settlements and we're going to avoid um, the nearby villages. If you build a road here, they won't be upset. If you build it right next to a village, then we get really salty. Plus, there's a good chance we'll block it with the units. So, I'm going to avoid them. This fellow is going up to the northwest, and you've... Uh, what, I can, what can you do? Ah, uh, What do we do with the Master Silver Miner? Hmm... Well, that's a good question. And by the way, we're going to switch to change the production. We don't need the Varos right now. We're going to switch to a blacksmith's, uh, blacksmith's shop. It's going to be finished right away. Uh, so we can construct tools. Right. Uh, the silver miner fellow. Oh, well, go and hibernate him. He can't help us right now. It's quite tricky. The location is good, but not that great. So I don't want to find another village somewhere else. Okay. Ah. Uh... How about you start producing some tools? I mean, you're not really good at it, but at least start with it. And we're going to start building a stockade for defense. Plus, we don't have enough wood to sustain uh, two um, carpenters at the same time while we're teaching this fellow to become a lumberjack. Okay, this fellow is returning home because we need, him, we need his horses. Um, you can go to sleep right now, don't need you. This is our pioneer. Uh, we're going to continue the road to the west. You continue to the northwest. Say hi to Arabax and learn the ways of the fishermen. Oh great! Uh, Governor Arivalda, in honor of a recent wedding to her fifth wife, we have graciously decided to raise tax rate by 1%. The tax rate is now 2%. You might, if you wish, kiss or royal pinky ring. Well, I don't want to boycott, uh, get boycotted on first, so I have to kiss the ring for now. Another reason that we keep good relations with the natives so we can trade with them. We have four villages really close by, so um, if we keep updated, uh, keep updating the things they need, we will be able to uh, avoid the taxes and avoid boycottation from Europe. Now we have close to 800. Let's see, we can recruit a master blacksmith. But first and foremost, we have to buy, I think, another couple of rifles. Uh, muskets, that is. Right. Uh, 200. Well, no, let's, play, let's buy 50. Because we need 50 to equip troops. Uh, now we can recruit. A master blacksmith. And then I'm going to buy a couple of horses. And then we have 160 left, so I'm going to buy... Uh, right, we cannot afford that. We can buy a little bit of trade goods. Another 50. 
Perfect. And on we go. A colonist in New Amsterdam has learned the specialty profession of lumberjack. So we have our first uh, trainee from our schoolhouse. Uh, and now we can produce a lot of wood. Uh, we're going to actually send this guy in here so they can help producing a little bit more tools. They will use up our uh, ore supplies pretty quick, but we're working on it. We are working on it. So far, so good. Okay. What else can we do? Yeah, you're going to return home. And we're going to equip you with rifles. So we are going to be a dragoon. Not a very good one, but he's a dragoon now. What about you? Uh, you're still plowing, I th think. Plowing... Oh, no, you're chopping down the forest, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think we have to make a silver miner soldier as well. This fellow is continuing the road. And you're going to learn the ways of the fishermen. Your expedition has reached the village of the Arawaks. The inhabitants are busy in the surrounding fields as they wave you happily. You notice a collection of scalps hanging threateningly from your tree log. Well, don't bother with those, we just want to live among the natives. We are unskilled, young one, and your ways are strange. If you wish, however, we Arawaks will show you how to become a master fisherman. Great, then I shall become a master fisherman. Congratulations, young one! You have learned the ways of the Arawaks and become a master fisherman. We hope you will share this knowledge wisely. You are always welcome to stay in the village. Okay, so we have another fisherman, which is very good for food production because we have three um, food tiles close by. Plus, if we build another coastal city, we can use him as well. So that's that's quite helpful. Okay, this is the scout. Uh, you can actually head west already. Down to the Tupi village. Um, oh, a farmer. You're a farmer. <sighs> what are I going to do with you? Yeah, let's plow the... Ah, uh, chop down the forest. Spies report! A patch raiding party of Rex Hallong in Spanish colony of Isabella. Spanish carol damage! Ship returns to Sevilla. Sevilla. Price of musket has risen. Ah. Uh, not the greatest news so far. Okay, let's return to New Amsterdam. Our glorious and only port. And not our cargo. So, my friend, you can clear orders. We can wake you up. You get the trade goods. Ah, and... Maybe we can actually sell a couple of tools. Maybe. So, you're going to get the furs. Now we're going to put in the master blacksmith. We're going to take out the carpenter and we're going to take out the lumberjack. Right, we have to stay below six settlers for now because otherwise we get a penalty. We need to raise the uh, liberty desire in the settlement in order to increase the, the population size. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Okay, we're going to turn you into a dragoon. And we're going to turn you into a dragoon. They're basically not very skilled with the muskets and the horses, but I think they will be up for the job. Okay, we're going to fortify this dude here. And this fellow here is going to trade with the capital. Trade with the village. 50 trade goods. Uh, we see that you have brought some excellent trade goods. To trade off, we offer you for, uh, 249. In exchange. A fair price will be 494. Uh, okay, our haggling. Starting to accept them, so we are going to accept the 290. They want tobacco, tools, and even rum. Perfect, because we have loaded tools. How about we some buy some furs? Uh, wagon 50 furs for 209. A fair price will be 104. 157 for 50 furs. Okay, I'm going to accept that. Okay, now let's continue trading with these guys and sell the tools. Oh, uh, yeah, for 227, 272 is okay. And now they want... Okay, I have to write it down. Uh, tobacco, trade goods, and rum. Nothing right now. Oh, maybe the ore. Uh, let's haggle. 
And let's buy 400 ore. So that's the location 5044. Rum. Trade goods and I think tobacco. Please don't hate me if I'm wrong. I have to write it down so we can remember it and I can look down on my chart and check out where we are going to send our, our wagons, basically. Okay. Now the fishermen. Um, what am I going to do with fishermen? I wish we had another place to settle. But the problem is, like I said, we have so many Indian settlements here. We could settle down here, but ah, we're going to hold off on that for now. We're going to pull one of these guys and uh, put him into the Liberty Bell production. And actually, we're going to pull out the Lumberjack and put in the Fisher so we can produce food. And we have more surplus, uh, surplus in food production. I think that's quite a good trade-off. Yeah. Although we're running out of ore, I see it. Well, let's try to keep it up. Okay, now we have another... Dragoon. We're going to move them all. You can see um, the sign changing. They are alerted by our military movements. They're not too happy about the presence here. You can see there's another one coming. And the more they are worried, the more likely they are going to attack us. Although we don't want war with the Arawaks. We want to keep them as friends. But... Oh, the Tupi make a surprise attack raid near Amsterdam. Connor is frightened and Tupi chief does involvement. They're attacking us. But they failed. Oh, and there's a English scout landing. Dutch founding, uh, founding fathers announced that. Henry Hudson has joined the Continental Congress. So we have a first founding father. Henry Hudson, English explorer in the service of the Netherlands, who explored Chesapeake and the Lavoie Bay and the Hudson River as far north as present-day Albany. Hudson later discovered Hudson Bay and was finally killed by mutineers. Hudson Bay became a primary fur trapping preserve and the Hudson Bay Company operated extensive trapping and processing facilities for many years. Hudson increases the output of all fur trappers by 100%. Great, so we can really produce a lot of furs now. And we have a new stockade, so we can defend us properly. I think the next thing we're going to build is actually going to be a printing press. Uh, so we inc inc increase their bell production. Slowly but steadily. Okay. Now this fellow is going to return to New Amsterdam. And this fellow is going to continue to build the road. And these fellows here... ...are going to attack the Tupi village. And hopefully we succeed. No! We got rooted! Right again. Yeah, this time we succeeded and wake this guy up. We need to attack again. And as you can see, uh, as soon as we attack them, their their uh, attitude changes, of course. Uh, now that uh, we can hear the sound of war drums basically coming from the camp, uh, we could still make peace with them, but of course, like I said, we want to get rid of his village. So they have to move. Um, should we start moving him over? to the west because we actually trained him to become a settler. Yeah, I think it's time. That he should be safe back here because the Arawak are not hostile. Okay, let's unload the furs. 715. We can recruit some more fellows. We can purchase artillery or we could train lumberjacks or ore miners. Ore miners would actually be a good idea. Yeah, let's train an ore miner. It's expensive, I know, but we really need these fellows. They're twice as good as a regular settler. Okay, now we can decide who is going to be our next um, person who is going to join our fine Continental Congress. Let's check out the tooltip. Now, Peter Stuyvesant uh, allows the construction of uh, custom houses in your colonies, which can streamline trade with Arab and Laos European trade during the revolution. That's nice, but... That's quite advanced. Uh, Francisco Coronado. I have to be careful not to click. Let's see. When he joins the Congress, all existing colonies and areas around become visible on the map. Okay, so basically an explorer. Francis Drake. That's pretty sure piracy. I'm pretty sure about that. 
When a drake joins a congress, the combat strength of all your properties are increased by 50%. Holy crap. Well, we don't have pri properties yet. Pocahontas. Well, that's pretty clear as Indian relations. Um, when Pocahontas joins the congress, all tension levels between you and the natives are reduced to content and all Indian alarm generate half as fast. Yeah, this is good. A long time um, possibility, but as long as we keep trading with the Indians and don't uh, take away the land uh, too much, we should be fine. And finally, we have William Brewster. Um, in William Brewster Congress, no more currencies or servants appear in the docks. Oh, that's good. You will select immigrant and recruitment pool while moving the docks. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah, I think we'll take William Brewster because basically that means we don't get petty criminals and in-depth in uh, servants. These guys um, take way longer to train and you have to basically uh, retrain, socialize them basically. But with that trait, the lowest we get is a regular settler. I think we're going to take William Brewster. Okay, uh, you can actually unload all your crap. We can actually now sustain a little bit longer the production because we have a shortage on, uh, we have only 10, 10 ore production, but 12 hammers. So we're using more ore than we can produce. But for now, that's okay. For now, it's okay. We could um, increase the printing. Yeah, actually, we a smart thing to do. Hurry up the printing press. That's right, we have enough wood. We have enough wood right now, at least for a couple of turns. For not, nah, not close to two turns, exactly. That's true. Hmm. Hmm. Still, we try to hurry it up. The printing press will basically increase the production of uh, belts. Okay, let's build a road here. And now let's attack. Continue our uh, attack on the 2P. Not a win. Now this guy has lost his horse. Uh, a dragoon will basically be demoted to infantry and if the infantry loses again, he will lose his muskets as well and then he can get killed basically. No, another dragoon rooted. Bloody fools. Okay, let's attack with the infantry. A Tupi tribe has been wiped out. The Dutch loot and burn a Tupi capital and they slain panic. 400 worth of Treasure recovered from the ruins. It will take a galleon to get this treasure back to Europe. Okay. The Tupi tribe bows before the might of the Dutch in tribute to your greatness. We give you all the land you, you, you now occupy. Okay. Okay. So they have been wiped out. They are no more problem. And we can now settle at their former site. And this is a very good site because of the major river below it. It has two uh, mountains, uh, lots of forests, so it's a very fertile ground. Plus, it has the ocean tile, so it's also um, a naval adjacent city. So this fellow here... Hold on, ho hold on before I do something stupid. Right, there's a lumberjack already here. Yeah, dude, return home. We already have a lumberjack down here. I was, I wasn't thinking. And then we have to take care of this guy, because he's definitely going to settle somewhere there. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay, you can go to sleep right now. Now this is a scout. Uh, yeah, let's hunt down this other guy there. I don't want him to uh, lure around. Panels clear the forest near Amsterdam. IT lumber added to the stockpile. Okay, so the, the forest below our settlement has been cleared. This is the lumberjack I was talking about, because he's not a professional soldier. He's a lumberjack. And actually, there's a, a oasis below the settlement. It's even better than I thought. Okay, the silver miner. Uh, yeah, I want you here as well. Without the rifles though, but we're going to take the rifles home. And you can return to New Amsterdam because uh, we will need you here before long. But I'm going to send you in sleep mode. I know it's kind of annoying that we have to, can't really use all the people, but sometimes it's better to not use the people and just put them in hibernation. And we get another present from the Arbobuck. Mighty Governor Hario de Valle, we gang welcome you to New England. This is not New England, my friend. Please remember that we have just claimed, uh, just claimed all this land in the name of a queen and the Church of England. We continue in our efforts to seek a life of religious freedom and service to the crown. 
How about you screw yourself? Uh, our queen is disturbed by the large Dutch forces lurking outside our English colonies. We demand that you withdraw all military units adjacent to English colonies immediately. Our forces protect valid Dutch interests and shall stay. Although uh, all of this land is rightfully ours by order of the queen, we propose a demarcation, a demarcation treaty dividing all the land between the god into the perpetual and inviolable Dutch and English spheres of influence. Influence? Uh, will you agree to such a petition? Of course, we will agree. Well, go in peace, my English brothers, and now kill them. And we've built a printing press. Great, so we can improve the production of bells. Uh, to, to hasten uh, the next Continental Congress member and, of course, the Liberty Desire. Now we're going to build church, probably. And I'm going to move, probably. I think, can we train with this guy? Yeah, a schoolhouse is uh, good enough to train um, carpenters as well. But it's not good enough for the blacksmith, I think. Yeah, we need a college, we need the next upgrade. Okay, so we can we can actually send alum, um, this guy to the other settlement. So we reduce the production here, but we can always teach another guy. And this fellow here uh, is probably producing wood. Right, that's what we can do best. On the other hand, we can use him right now to produce more bells. And we keep uh, up the food production, I think. Yeah, that's fine, because we have 72 wood, so this guy can slowly build the church, has no priority. And in the meantime, we could probably sell tools. Does anyone want tools? Yes. The settlement at um, 5148. Yeah, we can definitely sell a couple of tools. Make some money. We don't need them immediately. And there is another settler incoming. So the settlement at 5148. I think that's the one up here. No, that's that. No. Aha! Of course, it is that one. Like just like I said. <laughs> All right. Um, that's in the second position. Yeah, we definitely want to trade with these guys. Problem is, there's an Indian unit, so we're going to wait this turn. Hopefully, this guy is moving out. Uh, we're going to attack these guys. We have signed a peace treaty with the English. You are excellent. Break the treaty. English Chancellor, peace treaty with the Dutch. And there we go. We have killed the scout and removed him from our territory. Now, there is grassland below us. We can actually farm it some more. And this fellow here, Silver Ore Miner, is now founding our. Second settlement, finally. Oh, I didn't want to name it Fort Orange, damn it. We can rename it, okay. Uh, this is actually going to be the West West Town. Doesn't sound really... West, West Shore? Um, West Hill? West Coast. Hmm, is there a settlement on the West Coast? Well, all called like Spanish names. In the, in the history, right? San Francisco, Los Angeles. Ah, huh. West. West. Fort West. Fort West Coast. Well, we can still change it. Maybe you can uh, come up with an idea in the uh, comments. Okay, so... This fellow, wow, 14, 14 first, because this is a really good fur territory. I told you this is going to be worth it. Okay, you you are actually going to produce lumber, my friend. You are a lumberjack. And you fellow here, what are you exactly? You are a silver miner. Well, I'm going to abuse you for a carpenter's shop right now, because I want you to build docks. It's actually a good idea, because then we can use uh, the fisher properly. Ocean Minor River. Interesting. I hope this counts as ocean. Yeah, and by the way, we cannot uh, do that, right? We don't have enough food production. Uh, three or four food. Where is four food? Up there? Yes. Okay, we need more people in here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you fellow here. Yeah, you're definitely going to Fort West Coast. That's why I wanted the settlement in the first place. 
we're moving this treasure slowly home. Not that we can use it right now. We're not going to, to return it. Keep it for now. Uh, okay, we don't have really a lot of stuff to sell in here. That's why we use these guys for. And basically sell us some of their tools. And you can sail to Amsterdam, Netherlands. Now we're going to trade with these guys. Trade with the village. Oh, we have enough tools. Oh, um, 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 <laughs> there must be something wrong with my notices. Uh, we don't have enough tools. Rum, cloth and cigars. Let's see, did I go to the wrong settlement? Let me see it real quick. That's 51. Ah, oh, shite. That's, that's wrong. Cloth, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> It only works if you keep updating it, of course. Okay, I've updated, I've updated my notice. Block. Uh, let's see, somebody else wanted tools. 5044, where are you? 5044, there, that one. Okay. Let's hope I'm right this time. Now this is a scout. Um, yeah, let's head in here. And turn to a scout again. Oh, no, we cannot. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. We keep in them as a dragoon and we, uh, return the, the rifles back to the other settlement. That was a mistake. Should have thought about that. And yes, we should move some more people to the west now. Now that we have actually a settlement there. And we could use the farmer and the fisherman and god knows who else. I know. Okay, now let's see if I'm right that they want tools. No! What? Tobacco trade goods cotton. Tobacco. Uh, okay, now I'm a little bit embarrassed here. 5044. Ah, T. Okay, T. I wrote down T, but T can obviously, of course, means T O. Damn it. Okay, my system is not that great so far. <laughs> yeah, there's some room for improvement, I admit it. Okay, now let's continue and build the road here. So these fellows have actually a proper connection. Okay, now the, the king is offering us to transport this treasure, but it's only worth 500, uh, 400. And he's going to take 65%, so we're going to keep that for now. And you are returning home. And leave the, the weapons there. Ah, the start is really tough. I thought it's a great start. It started very well, but now we're really uh, grinding a little bit. Okay, we can buy trade goods. What about the tools? Four. Mm. Can I train anybody? I can recruit and indentured some. We could train a farmer still and a sugar planter. Yeah, sure, let's take the indentured servant for 150. See, we get petty criminals, indentured servants, and petty criminals. We won't get them as soon as we have an ex founding father. Okay, uh, well, I return home embarrassed and unload these tools and uh, quickly switch to more bell production right now because I want to have more bells ringing. Because except for that, we cannot produce anything right now. Not really. However, we can take a couple of tools. Op oh, oops. No. Ah, shift click. actually take 70 tools with us and bring it to the other settlement because we can always produce tools here and I don't see any reason to use them right now let's build a road this fella is going to get used and produce some ore now this fella is going to build some docks 
start prodilling and hopefully the, the carpenter. Yeah, there's the carpenter. Can't reach the uh, village in this turn. Okay. You're going to go back to his scout. Now we have rifles here in order to protect us. The need rises. And we get some tobacco from the Arawak. Cool. The Sons of Liberty membership in New Amsterdam is up to 10%, Your Excellency. The more Liberty Bells our statesmen generate, the faster the membership will rise. Okay, continue turn. Right, I'm now going to send this fellow to Fort West Coast. Let's see how fast he is. Well, not bad. We need to continue the road. Okay, now we have a carpenter here and we can actually produce at a decent rate. We can actually keep this guy in here and keep producing stuff. And you, my friend, you, what are we going to do with you? Um, we're going south, I guess. South we go. Uh, we speak with the village chief. What? What was that? The killer scout. I never had that before. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, that was unfortunate. Uh, I'm a little bit baffled right now. Holy crap, the killer scout. Okay, now we have a bunch of tools in here. You guys keep producing stuff for now. Um, okay, the number is plowed. Road plowed. Okay, we've increased the food production a little bit here. Which is great, because we're going to get a new settler soon. Um... Okay, what else can we do here? Let's see. With one son of liberty, there is one guy. Uh, now we should be able to raise the population, I think. So who do we need? Mm, you're a master farmer. Right. Yep, we can put seven people into the town. Which is great. So we're going to use you for lumber production and put you in here for now. How much food can you produce? Four. Yeah. You cannot produce really a lot of food. The fishermen are better. Because it doesn't have any plowed fields. Mm-hmm. And this young fellow, we could train him uh, to a farm or a shocker planter. Or I'm trying to educate him. I could try to... Although he's only an endurance servant. Let's try it. I have to turn this guy into a colonist and... Yes. Maybe like this. Because only producing four hammers, so he can use it up for four... Three turns? Yeah, three turns. And then we're running out of wood. Okay. That's okay. And yes, we're pretty broke right now. So we're going to wait until Fort West Coast is finally starting to brew some stuff. And we get some furs from the Cherokee. Build a church. Uh, and I think the next thing we're going to build is... <sighs> well, that's a tricky decision. Probably, probably a fort. It's a long time build. We do not produce anything particular right here. Um, yeah, we could build a fur trading post first, so we can build, we do something with a fur. So we're going to produce a lot of furs really soon. Okay, you're going to ins go in sleep mode, and you will finally pick up at least a little bit of stuff we're producing here. We need to crank out the production here, like really quick. Right now, I don't see any options. We could buy the dogs. No, we cannot. Well, it's worth asking. Okay, let's go back to New Amsterdam. Yeah, we need, definitely need to uh, build more roads. Uh, we could use this fellow down here. 
Yeah, definitely. No argument about that. There's no point in him standing around here. They produce enough food with their fish. We need him down there. And if not, we can always find another settlement with him. It's actually beneficial to have multiple small ones rather than a couple of large ones. Okay, the road is now connected. The question is, will they use it properly? And this is actually a regular colonist. Oh, you need to get to back to New Amsterdam ASAP, dude. We can train you. Ah, we get a little bit of cotton from the Aberwak. Some price changes. Okay, the new cargo tools is ready in New Amsterdam. Well, that's great. Oh, let's sell the furs. And I guess the ore. And we could. I mean, yeah, we're lowering our production in hammers, I know. But right now we have a hundred tools. So I'm thinking we may actually want to produce more bells right now. To crank up the production. Hopefully we get a new settler soon because that's what I'm aiming for, to get new... We need more people, basically. And we are so broke right now that I don't see a way to make money right now. It's a pretty, pretty tough spot right now. Okay, um, how do we look here? Not that great yet. The farmer is coming and yeah, he will help us with the food. We can actually send you to the west coast and see if the road is actually working. Yes, it's working. But they don't make it in one turn. Okay, finally, some food production. Now he can actually help here. Six of six food, this is okay-ish. They can maintain it a little bit. And once we have the docks ready, we probably... Um, maybe train another fisherman, let's see. Or we can actually plow a field. Well, I don't want to plow these guys. Right, I don't want to do that. So maybe I'm going to withdraw a fisherman from New Amsterdam. Once the population has grown. Spanish loot and burn Apache camp. Natives flee in panic to a dwarf of treasure recovered from the ruins. Well. Ah. Son of a bitch. Kiss the pinky ring. Another tax increase. An Indian servant uh, in New Amsterdam has become a free colonist through education. Great. New Amsterdam is a uh, load of lumber. Ah, uh, it's ran, ran out of lumber, right. Yeah, so he basically had to train up from indulgent servant to um, the regular settler trade. And now we're going to continue in training this fellow. Right. Okay, and you, sir, what are we going to do with you? We can train another fisherman. Grasslands plowed. Broadly forest, broadly forest road. We could clear the broadly forest, although mm, for cotton production, basically those two tiles. Ah, uh, let's see. Or fish. Yeah, because it actually doesn't really matter what this guy does. He's going to get trained as a carpenter anyway, so we can produce a little bit more food. So we get the additional surplus, but I want to send over the fishermen to help the other settlement. And then I can use this guy here to get trained as a um, oh, actually, we don't have enough storage here. Look at that. How embarrassing. Uh, 
I guess we need... Let's build a wagon train, yeah. How embarrassing. No, not. Um, go back to a pioneer. I don't want to waste tools, of course. How, how embarrassing. No! You're not getting uh, our food this time. I'm sorry. We, we, we want to wait. We want to have another settler. He's saving up. It's always the same. They always come and ask for food when we have a ton of it. Okay, well, at least we make a little bit of money. 722. No. Train somebody. No. Can we actually buy something that is worth our while? Hmm. Good question. Mm. 400 for the tools. How much is the rum? Way too much. I guess we can buy trade goods. Uh, 50 44 is definitely buying trade goods. I'm 100% certain, I swear. I swear they are buying trade goods. Okay, anything else? Some horses, maybe? And I definitely don't want to recruit these fellows here. Unless, yeah, no, 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 no. Fort West was run over lumber! Oh, the humanity, of course. Well, there we go. Now produce us some. Docks and actually they have enough hammer production. They only need four, so I'm going to use you. Uh, we can actually we cannot produce silver. Oh, maybe first then in instead we could use more first. We need something to trade because this is this is embarrassing. We need more pro more production. We need to crank out the production. This is truly an embarrassment. Okay, you're going to sleep here for a little bit, and we are going to send you to Port West Coast. And um, yeah, we have to hibernate you because I cannot put you in because uh, we cannot store enough tools. We cannot. Okay, you know what help? Ah, right, not this. Right, we should actually build a wagon train. There's nobody in the lumber mill. <laughs> okay, let's let's focus on the lumber uh, the wagon train real quick. That's like two turns and then it should be done. We have no one in the school. I s right. What was I thinking? We have to do it like this. Right. Of course. I was getting ahead of myself. Okay, I'm going to put you into sleep. Oh, the Arags are attacking us! Luckily, we defeated them. Docks destroyed! Oh no! <gasps> the British are coming! Oh boy, the things are developing, but not necessarily in a good way, ladies and gentlemen. I think we are in some trouble here. Uh, I think we are in some trouble in indeed. Anyways, I think this is a perfect time uh, for a break. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna stay up to the new series. Tomorrow we continue this let's play. Thanks for watching and see you soon.